More than one-third of Americans use fireplaces, wood stoves, and other fuel-fired appliances as primary heat sources in their homes. In addition, the high cost of fuel is resulting in a tremendous increase in the use of these alternative sources of heat to supplement a primary gas or oil burning system. Virginia Farm Bureau Insurance Safety Manager Bruce Stone says that the increased use is also increasing fire risk. When heating with wood and solid fuels inside the home, homeowners should pay special attention to the dangers and risk. It starts with an annual inspection. Well, let's start the season off safely and make sure our chimney is swept. Uh, make sure that it's been inspected by a professional to ensure that there's no cracks in the flue liner. And then you can come into the inside of the house, check the connector pipe from the chimney to the stove, and then check your stove out to make sure it's solid and doesn't have any cracks that could allow vapor and smoke out. Uh, make sure that your stove is positioned properly uh, proper clearances. Uh, you should have a minimum of 36 inches around all sides of the stove, have at least 6 inches clearance under the bottom and well ventilated under the bottom, and it should set on a, a, um, uh, some type of protective mat to, uh, so that hot coals don't fall on the floor. Many people utilize traditional fireplaces, but there is an increasing trend toward the installation of wood stoves. Stone cautions to make sure it's done properly and professionally. Well, you need to make sure that you follow the local building code and also what the manufacturer's recommendations are. You want to make sure that the stove has a proper size connector pipe to the chimney. You want to make sure that, that all the clearances are um, that meets code and, and make sure that a professional has installed it. Your stove pipe needs to be uh, securely connected with um, uh, at least three screws to make sure those pipes don't separate during a uh, uh, when you have a fire in the stove. There is a safe way to start your fire and that includes never using starter logs. Don't overstock your stove or grate and never leave a fire unattended even if it's just to run a quick errand. Don't use uh, such things as gas or oil to to get it going. They can create a, an explosion or a fire hazard that you don't want to deal with. Uh, preferably um, Put you a, a couple pieces of wood in the bottom of the stove, put some kindle on top of that wood, and then put a third piece on top of the kindling. And then you may want to take uh, uh, just a small piece of paper to heat the kindling up so it will start burning. Stone offers a few tips to keep everything safe while the fire is burning. Well, obviously you can burn your fire. You don't want to uh, set flammables too close to it. You, you do want to keep a screen in front of it just to keep sparks from flying out on the floor. Uh, some of the things you, you, you want to caution the family not to do, do not throw old newspaper or wrapping into the fire because what happens that will go up into the chimney and could potentially cause a chimney fire. So you, you want to uh, uh, have the trash hauled out, not burned up. It's easy to overlook proper disposal techniques, but Stone provides important actions you should take. Keep in mind that uh, once the fire burned down, the coals could stay hot for hours, maybe, maybe even days. So what you want to do is close the damper, tighten the stove up, and um, you can let those ashes stay in the stove overnight. When you clean the ashes out of the stove, well, we recommend doing that on a regular basis. Remove the ashes into a metal container, preferably with a lid on it. Once you get them, the stove cleaned out, take that container outside away from the house, set it on the ground, and just leave it for a day or two until you know those coals are, are completely cooled down. Don't throw them out into the edge of the woods or they could catch the leaves or woods on fire. Fire departments responded to more than 400,000 home fires last year. You can prevent your house from being a part of this statistic by taking a safety first mindset this winter. Go to our website to learn more safety measures to help protect your family and property, as well as to learn more about the Farm Bureau Advantage.